Hey everybody, Dwight Gellowitz here, Social Media Power Guys. Uh, I just want to go over a little tutorial for you today. We're going to do a screen record of a PowerPoint using Camtasia Studio version 7. And we're going to upload it to YouTube so we get no black lines in high definition and wide screen. I know you guys have been asking for it, so hopefully we're going to go through it. So what we're going to cover today, we're going to set up a PowerPoint presentation to fit in the widescreen player. We're going to record that presentation, then we're going to import it into Camtasia Studio, render that video, upload it to YouTube, test the YouTube video, and hopefully that's going to do it all. Hopefully it worked. Hope this is going to help you guys. So, social media power guys, again, I'm Dwight Gellowitz. We're going to I'm going to jump over to the creation of the PowerPoint presentation and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are at uh, PowerPoint. We're going to start there, as I said in my previous uh, PowerPoint presentation. We're going to create a new PowerPoint blank presentation. And I want to show you how to uh, get set up properly for um, a widescreen video. Uh, of your PowerPoint presentation. So first off we want to go into design and check the page setup. So here you'll see uh, again it's the design tab page setup and here you'll see slides sized 4, a 4 by 3 or 16 by 9 which is widescreen. All we need is landscape. We want it to be 16 by 9 we hit OK and you'll notice that now we have the widescreen aspect ratio for our PowerPoint slides. We'll also just grab a quick design here. It looks like that design wasn't made for 16 by 9 because the titles and such don't match the... Uh, let's use this one. Uh, here's Camtasia. If you guys haven't seen the screen before, but it's really easy to use. At least I feel it is. Uh, so we're going to just record the screen. Uh, it couldn't really stop recording because right? oh, they're registered to another program. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so I won't use the hotkeys. Basically, what it does is it uh, brings up this little screen here. We're going to go full screen, and it's already uh, taken the whole screen I don't know if you can see that but there's little green lines I'll go make it smaller so that you guys can see so here this is the screen and you can see it darked out the part that it's not going to record anyway so as you can see I did 1280 by 720 which is high definition for YouTube and um, now if I was to run this PowerPoint presentation what would happen is it always fills the screen so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I, I use a widescreen uh, monitor on my computer so I'm just gonna click full screen so it takes up the entire screen also wanna let you guys know a couple of things here on the uh, the the toolbar or the tool window here you have the option of going into custom so you could do 640 by 360 these are all I widescreen measurements here the 16 by 9 uh, gives you 640 by 360 800 by 450 1024 by 776 1280 by 720 now the 4 by 3 which is your standard or original aspect ratio your original television type screen which is 4 by 3 640 by 480 800 by 600 1024 by 768 so you can select one of those as your originating recording and um, that'll be an important aspect of what you're doing but because I'm doing a full screen it's actually 1600 by 900 which is a uh, larger version of 1280 by 720 so that's what we're going to be going with on that one now the other uh, audio has been a, a question that I've seen come up so uh, with Camtasia Studio you have the ability to uh, use your microphone I have the Blue Yeti and uh, you've also got a handset I have you know like a headset 
microphone, that kind of thing. There's something on my camera. Never use that one. It makes a funny noise. You have the option to not record anything while you're going through the PowerPoint. You also have an option where you can record system audio. So, for example, if you want to include some music or if you're doing a, uh, if you're going to be doing an interview with a client and you're on Skype, you can fire up. Uh, this uh, Camtasia studio you could do the video back and forth I did that one time um, with a client in Florida with Robert and um, basically I did a, a video Skype chat with him and I recorded the system audio so I got his side I got my side uh, we posted it as videos so uh, we did a uh, well I think it was a wasn't quite a full 10 by 10 by 4 because once I once we finished, I didn't have quite 10, um, 10 uh, videos to send out, but it was it was at least a five by five by uh, four. But anyway, so you can record the system audio. Okay, so we're gonna hit the big red button, and as you can see, it uh, counts down for you, just in case you're uh, wanting to start somewhere at a particular point and you want to count down but if you're lazy like me you just start it up and then uh, do what it is you're gonna do and use um, uh, what do I say you're gonna use uh, the the audio to uh, find your breaks and uh, clip the audio once it's in Camtasia. So I'm just going to go through a, this three-page PowerPoint presentation that we put together and uh, we'll just give a couple of second pause here so that I have that to show you. And so uh, we'll go back in here and hit stop and now it's going to uh, Play, it, it always replays when you um, it always replays for you what you recorded the Camtasia part but uh, uh, so let's go vid toot and so now what it's doing is it's actually writing it down now this is the important part that we're going to get to uh, this is where we'll see um, what we want to what aspect ratio we want to store or create the project in Camtasia as uh, and so you have the all of the choices that we had when we put together the screen record uh, but uh, what we're going to choose is recording dimensions and the reason I choose recording dimensions that creates the project in the largest possible format and then when you upload it to YouTube and they downsize it to you get the highest resolution um, from the YouTube video it says for best results we remember when you use it or 12 or small yeah yeah whatever okay so that is the thing and you'll see that there's a break in the audio that's what I was talking about uh, which is a break in the audio is going to tell us where the actual tutorial starts and there's a break in the audio right there which is probably going to tell me uh, where we ended the tutorial so if I just fire this up we should be able to hear what's going on okay so now we've got the the tutorial pretty much in um, Camtasia we are going to save the project uh, let's call this um, during tutorial we're going there we're gonna call this uh, toot for fun okay so now we're gonna produce and share this uh, video for um, export to YouTube now this is the uh, produce and share is when you actually write or render the video for um, uh, to be transmitted or sent out so um, you have a bunch of different types of things I always use the web setting it's these are the editing dimensions the mp4 we have the opportunity to change 
um, the so if we're going in custom productions, we could go in and we just pick the MP4. Um, we could pick the other formats: Window Media, QuickTime Movie, AVI, M4, MP3. All of these different options. The size again if you want uh, not going to do any of that stuff we're just going to go back and um, just pick the web it's going to go always it always goes with the project dimensions that you put so if you originally put 1280 by 720 it'll be 1280 by 720 you know there as well so hit it next you pick a place you're going to put the mp4 and let's just do it for there I think that's where I had the yeah I had the test videos right there. All right, so that's where we're saving it. Finish. It's now going to render that video, and when it's done, it'll actually have written. Uh, tells me it's finished, where it put it. Everything is good. So if we bring up that, um, go into my videos. It was under test. It was under test videos do it for fun there is the mp4 uh, and then we can play it again hey everybody Dwight Delowitz here just gonna do a video tutorial for fun how to get in trouble with Camtasia there you go well, so there we have it stuff. again it's it's there it is ready to go now it is ready for us to upload to YouTube okay here we are at YouTube now we want to upload that video to our YouTube channel and uh, here we go I'll grab my video and do what I always do is just grab the video drag it onto the video and it starts uploading and then I will put on a tutorial for fun always always put my social media power consulting.com a quick tutorial for fun tags a tutorial don't really want anybody to find this one so we're not really going to tag it and save changes it's uploaded it's all ready to go already go to my videos and you'll see that uh, this video is now uploaded ready to go playing in full screen mode no black lines on the sides or at the top and uh, it's there and ready for you guys to enjoy I'm going to uh, put just so you know that's how it's done hopefully this helped you guys out and um, yeah if you have any questions um, my name is Dwight Gelowitz and uh, let me get rid of this one and go I have another one here back here social media power let's go back here just for fun we did the setup, we recorded the presentation, we imported it to Camtasia Studio, we rendered it, we uploaded it, we tested the YouTube video, and uh, my thought is this video looks just fine with the full widescreen. Hopefully that's what everybody was looking for. Uh, again, my name's Dwight Gelowitz. This is Social Media Power Guys. Have a great day.